Hello everyone, this is Tracy and I am wrapping up at the doctor's office. Uh, I just got done. Today is April 29th and so my first Lupron shot I got on April 1st. So I'm back um, every month. I'll be getting the Lupron shot until I get my ovaries out, which should be the end of this year. Hopefully the end of this year. Um, I've already bypassed the out-of-pocket um, deductible or maximum and the deductible and all that crap. Um, so every month I'm coming and getting that Lupron shot. And I would say so far I had the Lupron shot April 1st and it was probably a few days after I had my first shot that I woke up on my back hurt really bad. And so I ended up on and off for probably the next day or two. Excuse me. Next day or two, I was doing a heating pad on my middle and my upper back um, to help. And then it kind of went away. And then it was around April 15th that I started taking anastrozole, which is a hormone blocker. Uh, a lot of women may have tamoxifen. And tamoxifen is if you aren't going into menopause or already in menopause or past menopause. Um, since I will be getting my ovaries out here, you know, in the near future, um, he went with the anastrozole um, since I will be going into menopause. So I started that April 15th and thankfully haven't had um, hot flashes. I even told the doctor, I said, knock on wood. And he, he actually did, thankfully. Um, have been feeling pretty well with that. Um, other than the fact that even probably like a few days after taking that, my back hurt again and using the heating pad and, you know, a few days later it was fine. Um, so I expect here in the next day or two that, you know, I'll have backaches again. Um, he did tell me that uh, typically if you start out well, you'll probably stay pretty well. He said, but there are joint aches that you can have that can sneak up on you. So expecting that that could happen. And I do need to ramp up and start walking a little bit more, even if it's going down and go getting on the treadmill. I've done that once or twice so far. I uh, need to continue and keep doing that um, to help with that. So thankful um, for my health and that things are going so well. Waiting uh, May 11th is my next appointment with my plastic surgeon. And I had my last fill just a week ago, maybe. Um, I, I haven't jumped on for very long to give some updates, but I went to the plastic surgeon. It was about a week ago. I think it was last Monday, a little over a week ago and had what I would say was my last fill. So he had asked me if I wanted to, um, oh, what was it? Oh, I asked him if he overfills or if he stops and the implants are the same size as your fill. And my doctor, I know it could be different for everybody, but my doctor said that he does slightly overfill and it helps with once you get the implants in for them to naturally drop, I guess, a little bit. Uh, maybe not at first, but over time. So instead of doing 60 cc's, I did 90 cc's. So I'm up to 630 cc's. And I'm going to stop there. I'm fine with that. I had gotten some no underwire bras in the past. And I had gotten a D and a double D to try. And the double D's were way too big, thankfully. Uh, I did not want to go that big at all. Um, and the D, there's actually a little bit of room left in them. Um, just like, you know, kind of sticks out a little bit. So um, I'm just under a, a full D cup, um, which is fine, which is, you know, definitely fine with me. That's I was thinking of going C, but then it felt too small in my frame after um, I got to that point. Um, so I wanted to go more into the D range. So feeling comfortable with that. And it's funny because one of my memories on Facebook popped up today and it was from two or three years ago. And there was a picture of me at this bowling charity fundraiser. And I was standing with a group of people who was on the team that I was bowling in. And I thought, Oh my God, I'm standing in the middle of them. And all I can see is my boobs. I mean, I, I had ginormous boobs and all I could see, <laughs> I was like, my boobs stole the picture there. So very, very thankful that that's not the case anymore, especially finding out that they're toxic and they had to go, they were cancerous. So um, it's very different um, to have much smaller uh, breasts for me, um, but I'm going to get used to it. Um, and I think it looks really nice and I look a whole lot skinnier and my boobs aren't gonna steal the picture anymore. My smile and my pretty eyes are gonna steal the picture. So uh, thankful for that. And uh, next time I go to the plastic surgeon will be May 11th. Um, this is 2020. 
And May 11th, um, he has said if I was fine with where I'm at, didn't want to go any bigger, then we would look to hopefully schedule surgery. And in Ohio, elective surgery should be opening back up as of May 1st. So I am hopeful that um, I'm guessing like into late June, maybe July, I know there's some backlog that they're going to have to get scheduled. Um, but hopefully maybe July timeframe, I will be able to do my exchange to get rid of these expanders that are heavier. Or they're heavy, but they, they feel like bricks are really hard and to go to the implant stage. So I will keep you updated and hope you're doing well. Thank you. Bye.